the set underway. Let's count it down for game number one in three, two, one, Tetris. All right, and both plays underway. And now that both plays are underway, and therefore te the official broadcast has started, uh, you gotta chill around to start off your lovely day. Why does it sound so weird to say the word Tetris after the countdown? Maybe it's just me, but like, especially the Tris part at the end, I feel like it always sounds so different between each commentator, and there's never like a standard way of saying it. And that's, I guess, kind of Monka S. I don't know, maybe it's just a small thing. Really shouldn't be that big of a deal, as both players have started off really strongly here in game number one. Malaya perfect through four Tetrises at the moment. Does have a long bar dependency and is really going to work on this long bar dependency. Board really, really dependent on this long bar that shows up a piece too late. So Malaya has to plug the well and this could be trouble. Getting up high, gets a long bar over, followed by another one. So some lovely pieces there to help reopen the well for Malaya and there's a Tetris. He's going to go to 123. Messex with the Tetris, they are at 161. Still the early game. Plenty more Tetris to come here in game number one. As, alright, both players dealing with some complications here. Messex getting up high and so is Malaya. Malaya with a lovely dirty Tetris. As Messex overshoots an L piece and is now really in need of some good pieces. Gets a very fast tap over the right side, but hangs a T. Lovely burns though. Messex fighting for their life. Oh, beautiful pieces right there for Messex, and they're gonna dig this down. Both players have shown some excellent digging skills so far. In game number one, as another missed drop from Essex, and the board back up in trouble here. Needs a long bar, and the long bar is not going to show up. So unfortunately, Messex tops out at 199,000, which means, Malaya, you're good for game number one. So Malaya taking an early lead in the set as Messex. Well, we say he's bringing. Uh, we say they're bringing out all the stocks, but I'm pretty sure that bag had all the stocks. We saw all the cables in there. I'm trying to fix up the controller. Either way, though, we are on to game number two. So once we get it ready from both players, we can count it down for the next game. We have a dig from Messex. Well, certainly one to watch. It was really exciting. Because Messex definitely could have gone out of that. Unfortunately, the double input towards the end. As either way, both players are ready, so let's count it down for game number two. In three, two, one, Tetris.
All right, Tetris former layer. They're gonna go up to 68,000. Tetris from SX, they're at 93,000. So SX cleared a few more lines compared to Malaya, but does have a slight lead. Still very early game, however. Nothing substantial, we've got plenty of Tetris to go again here in game number two. Oh, we got an ad for Messex. Um, um, I don't know. We'll just let that go, I guess. Oh, we got two ads. Lovely. Wait, I have a question. How do, like, all the super streamers on... How do all the super streamers on like monthly Tetris avoid the ads? We've got a third ad. What the fudge? And Malay is gonna get the long buff of the Tetris up so high. And another Tetris to go to 236. Hey, um, tw Twitch, if you can hear me, can we like get no more ads, please? We've got, we got some um, Tetris to watch. Can we just, can we be done with the ads, please? Thank you. Thanks, Twitch. You're amazing. Except for the fact that, like, you gave us ads mid-match. Alright, both players past the 60 line mark Messex with an incredible pace so far. 230, 224, pardon me. At 63 lines, Malaya, 248. So back by about 70,000 points. But Messex up in a bit of a dig here. Needs some good pieces to reopen the well and is set up for a dirty Tetris now on the left side. Messex then known for their aggression. In fact, it will only be a triple. So, I read the board wrong there. Pardon me. As Messex now open for another center well. And he's gonna and they're gonna get the Tetris there. So 359 plays what? I can't read. I can't read numbers, actually. 366 plays 323. Both players just looking to clean up their boards here. Well, yeah, getting up a little bit high as Messex gets a lovely long bar to reopen the well. And there's a Tetris for Malaya, gonna go up to 3.54. Tetris for Messex, he's gonna go up to 4.41. So about an 80k lead for Messex here as both players pass the 100 line mark. Malaya with a little bit of solving to do, but does well with the pieces given and he's now gonna get set up here in column 2. Will the game give Malaya the long bar? A couple of interesting delayed burns, but it does work out a Tetris for Malaya there. And he's going to look to bring down the stack. As Messex, they're just clean at the moment. Continuing to score Tetrises. And is just waiting on the long bar now. Alright, Messex running into a bit of a drought here. The long bar is really taking its time to show up. There it is. Finally a long bar for Messex. 5-16. And we've got a pause from Leia. Things seem to be alright. We should be able to keep going. And Messex is gonna transition here at 547. Malaya, two lines away from transition. Is now going to transition there with that Tetris 461. And Messex up very high here in level 19. Multiple longbar dependencies. Alright, is feeling 
those gaps with whatever piece they can. Would love an L piece desperately from the game that just doesn't want to give an incredibly fast long bar tap to get the long bar far left. But this dig is far from over as Malaya really fighting the game as well. Hangs the long bar on column 9 and that's going to do it. Malaya will top out at 512,000 points. Which means Messex, who is going to reopen the well, is good for game number 2. So an incredible dig there from Messex, really showing what they're capable of. And we'll take game number two. So we have a series leveled up here, one apiece for both players. And as the chat says, what has once, or what was once a best of five, something something, best of five still, but with two less games. Close enough. We got it ready from both players. Let's count it down for game number three. In three, two, one, Tetris. Um, alright, we're gonna have to do a redo here, Malaya, feel free to top out. Um, Messix opened up Os by accident. It's not closing, and it's uh, apparently blasting their eardrums. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, go ahead and top out Malaya. We're gonna redo this game. Um, bit of a Monka S moment. Th that's a Twitch clip right there. If, um, we were to have a chat. A chat in the clip as well. Messex opens Osu live in match. Alright. So we're gonna ready from Messex. We're gonna get started again for game number three. Properly this time, once we get it ready from Malaya. And we're ready there. Let's count it down for the correct game number three. In three, two, one. Oh, Tetris. Okay, bot. D you, didn't re you really didn't want to give me the Tetris, huh? This is the classic 12am monthly Tetris stream. You only get scuffedness and more scuffedness. But I mean, hey, that's why we're here. We're watching what two fine individuals play a block game. I, um, yeah. 12am is indeed the Tetris time. Oh my gosh, Tetris time? Like CTWC 2020 top 8 Tetris time? It was, it was, it was, it was 20, it was 2021, 2020, right? Can someone fact check that? I need to make sure I didn't get that year wrong. Tetris time did make top 8 in 2020, right? Either way, a dirty Tetris from Messex. As they look to set up again here. And they are set up. Malaya with a long bar dependency on his stack. So both players running into a bit of complications here. But it is Malaya who's a bit more worse for wear. Messex with a Tetris. Gonna look to reset the board now. And Malaya gets a beautiful long bar to bring it down the stack, but looking for one more. And there is that long bar, Malayo is set up once again, and there's Tetris. So both players back into clean positions, and there's a delayed vids. So 
everything's happening in this game. A couple of misdrops, unfortunately, there for MSX. Gonna cause them to take a few more burns. As the same is for Malaya, and... Well, Malaya's back in a dig here. MSX nice and clean. Oh, and Malaya really needs some good pieces here. Alright, doesn't get the L piece over, unfortunately. Hangs and will top out here at 138,000 points. Which means, MSX, you're good for game number three. Alright. We've got a ready from both players already. Crazily. And we're gonna get underway for game four right now. Both players ready, let's count it down in three, two, one, Tetris. As Messick says, let's take it to level 29. That's what we wanna see. We're here for some good Tetris gameplay. And um, that's not quite the start Malaya was looking for. Bit of an awkward placement there. Gonna look to take some nice burns here as he looks to reopen the stack. That is very true, Tiny Stone Drop. We d I, I, I don't know why. We do tend to see a lot of spoilers somehow in the Tetris community as Mazak's getting up very high here. Perfect pieces. And we'll reopen the well. Messex fighting with the game. And we'll clean up the stack there. Tetris to go to 95,000 points. As Malaya still yet to get clean here in the game number four. Just looking for some good pieces that really aren't showing up. But long bar will help. And Malaya is nearly down. Oh, and Messex with the dab. That is um, a sight for sore eyes. Your eyes sore, Messex dabs. And your eyes are um, perfect vision, 2020. That is uh, one, of the, one of the feel good moments of, of the year, question mark. That will be decided by you, the community. Anyway, Messex up a little bit high here. Find some good burns and we'll reopen the stack as both players clean for what feels like the first time. We've seen moments of cleanliness in the boards for both players throughout periods in the game, but this is really the first time we've seen both players be clean. And both players are now scoring Tetrises. Alright, both players, nice and clean once again as we've passed the hundred we've passed the halfway mark. And Messix with about a 100,000 point lead. For a period there was ahead 318 for Malaya who was at 218. But now, Malaya with a Tetris will cut into that lead. But not right bef but not before Messix takes one back. Messex stabs, both boards get clean. Coincidence? I don't think so. And Malaya getting up very high here. A massive 
what's, what's the American say again? Uh, Z. Z Spire. On his board, and we see another dab from SX. And now we're gonna see. Pray to the RNG gods. Another one, too. Please, game, give us some good pieces. Both plays up so, so high. Messex is gonna bring down the stack. As Malayev does as well. Where is the long buff for Malaya? Keeping the well open. There's a nice square for the right side. And there is a Tetris. Beautiful dig from Malaya. And really, the lead did go up, but not by a significant amount. Just by one Tetris. So Malaya, not really. Well, yes, is backed by over 100,000 points, but not really facing too much more pressure. Alright, Messex now set up for the left while Tetris. And there is a the Tetris. Gonna go to 511. Does untap a Z piece. So, we'll have to do a bit of burning. And he's gonna, in fact, go for this center wall Tetris. And there it is! Tetris for Messex. 536. Five lines away from transition is Guesty. Thank you for the resub. Eight months now. That means, what is it? You're one month more away from uh, that coveted CTM baby. And, um, yeah, that's when you and Vandy have a baby. What is this Monka ass? Alright, Messix has transitioned here at 572. Malaya up so high but gets the bar over. The transition at 484. And now Messix in a dig here. He needs to bring it down. We saw a wonderful dig earlier in game number two from SX in the post transition. And can we see another one here? Finding some good burns. Oh, but it's gonna hang the LPs, unfortunately. And that will do it. Messex stops out at 580, which means Malaya, you are in a chase down. You need to get to 581. Uh, that's right, Messex. Uh, uh, Vandy baby. Yep. This is the premium content that you subscribe to on the monthly Tetris Twitch. As Malaya holding out for the long bar, and there it is. Tetris for Malaya. And he is good for game number four. Uh, good morning, Scanball. Welcome in. And so Malaya is now good here in game number four. We are all tied up and we are going to everyone's favorite decider. Alright, we've got a ready from both players. Let's rock and roll. We've got a decider coming up here. Both players are ready. Let's count it down for game number five. In five, four, three, two, one. Tetris. Here we go. We're underway for the decider. Actually, we haven't started yet. That was a bit of a premature. Thing for me, but there we go. We are underway here in the decider for the first match of the stream, and this is a big one. Let's see where this game will take us as both players with nice clean stacks here to start. Alright, both players with not the cleanest of stacks, Messex with a nice Tetris to bring down the board. It's gonna adjust the camera. Messex, you know I can I can do that for you. Messex, you, you, you don't have to do that. Okay, okay. Um Monka S. Add this add this to the photo uh, add this to the photo collection 
of uh, multi Tetris Monk S 12 a.m. stream. We've had so many moments already, and we're just in the first game. First match, pardon me. Tetris from Malay. Oh, we're gonna pause from Malay now. Um, had to fix the headphones. We've got an unpause there. Um, I know in like, I know in Monte Tetris and CTM, we're very lenient with like the pauses you have to fix something, but at this point, we've got to start looking at whether these pauses are for someone's advantage. You know, not not necessarily RNG Manip, but um, whether they're taking strategic breaks. As Malaya hangs an help piece on the right side and is not going to get the long bar over. So Malaya's done it. 131,000, which means the match is unfortunately over. And not the way Malaya wanted to go out. And this does mean MSX will move on to round number two. So, um, yeah. Oh my gosh, no, the chat's coming alive. No, this is not the stream to be watching. You should be watching when, um, well, Peyton restreams. Because that's good. Or when Vandy restreams. Because that's, that's, that's good, too. Either way, GG's to both players. That will do it for the first match here of the stream. And now we're going to go back and look at the bracket. If I can find the bracket. Um, just imagine this bracket's done. Now. And, uh, okay. I'm going to go ahead and get set up for game number, match number two here. We should probably take an ad break. So let's do that. Thank you, Holy Thick Noses. Anyway, yeah, it's kind of manga s. Let's go ahead and take an ad break, and we'll be back with the next match shortly. Wow, wasn't that such a fast setup? Oh wait, it actually was. What the heck? Wait, everything is correct. Oh my goodness. We did it, gang. We popped off. And we are ready for match number two. So once we get both players in chat, once they're both ready, we can get underway here for the second match of the night. in you know on original name as we like to know them by we've got a ready from blue scooty lark just finishing the warm-ups blue scooty is a roller i believe lark is a tapper and we've got a ready from both players let's count it down for game number one in three two one the tetris so, um, 
by some miracle, we've already started match number two. Pompey will be proud of me. Alright, we are underway here in game number one of the second match of the night between Lark and Blue Scooty. Lark, with a bit of an awkward stack at the moment, needs some good pieces to burn. So, Scooty, who's going to score the Tetris there, will be the first to score the Tetris. And now both players in a bit of a dig. Lark got plenty of burns to go as Scooty already clean Tetris again and got 51,000 points. And we'll take an early lead here in game number one. Oh my goodness, I looked away and come back and Scooty's board kind of breaking down here. Finds some good burns, gonna help bring down the stack as Lark still fighting. Alright, some good burns from both players, and that's a nice long bar for Lark. Gonna look to get set up here on row 3. And there it is, a Tetris for Lark. Row 3 Tetris. Gonna try to bring some of that momentum back into his favor. As the lead at the moment, just short of 40,000 points. Though Scooty, gonna score a Tetris there. Gonna really combat these Tetrises that Lark's starting to find now. As both players. I was about to say both players were clean, but they really weren't. But both players now are clean. If you, if you exclude the center well set up on a Lark, Lark's board. And the long bar shows up a piece too late, and then happens a second time. Alright, Lark really trying to keep the center well open. And there it is, the Tetris for Lark. Gonna bring down the stack, and he's just gonna look to reset the board. Not gonna try to do anything more there. This has allowed Scooty to go up to just short of an 80,000 point lead here. So as we approach the halfway mark of level 18, Blue Scooty finally establishing a bit more of a lead. But both players nice and clean, really showing they've got what it got. They've got what it takes here in the future circuit. Oh, oh, I didn't put away the decider. Um. Vinky, if you're um editing this, please edit that out. Thank you. Either way, Lark with gonna set up a Tetris here in column two, and there it is. Opted to not take the triple, went aggressive. And this time we'll have to take the triple. Oh wait, so that means I didn't set up this match perfectly. Ah. Uh. Alright. Still a cursed stream. Still not a proper multi Tetris stream. Either way, Lark now long bar dependent again in the center. Really trying to str really struggling to get this well open and this board spiraling out of control. Needs a long bar. Needs it now and the long bar will not show up. Lark will top out of here at 199,000 points. And Scooty, who's at 378,000, is good for game number one. Alright, so once we get it ready from both players, we can get underway here for game number two. 
of course, we could always do hover threes. Because hover threes are the universal sign of being ready. Besides, you know, putting the ready feature on GMV5, which is very useful. As now both players are ready, so that's kind of down for game number two. In three, two, one, Tetris. Alright, we are underway here in game number two. Both players with kind of awkward boards to start. Scooty will be the first to get a Tetris. As Lark with a bit of burning to do once again. Alright, Tetris for Lark, that's his first. It's been a long time between Tetris as it feels for Lark. As Scooty with a 40,000 point lead already early on here in game number two. Alright, Lark getting up high, gets a nice long bar to bring down the stack, but this board not looking great here, needs some good pieces to help clean things up. So this will allow Scooty to go out and build up a bit more of a lead, already past 100,000, and with the, dig, with the dig Lark is in, could grow up to who knows how much. Lark waiting on the long bar. There it is. Gonna help bring down the stack and will help find the burns. So Lark bringing this board back down. And the pieces just aren't being helpful to Lark, unfortunately. Gets a good long bar. Is gonna now actually be set up for a row to Tetris. And there it is, Tetris for Lark, 114,000 points. And Scooty, who also just passes the 50 line mark, he's at 258,000. So 128,000 point lead here in game number two. Quite, what's the thing that the, um, the people say? Quite, quite the hill to climb, the mountain. Quite the hill to climb here for Lark in game number two, but definitely not out of reach. Does have a bit more cleaning to do, but so does Scooty. So both players are going to be burning for a bit. And, well, if Scooty can get clean earlier, this could be an opportunity to try and cut back into that lead. And there it is, a Tetris for, for Lark. Oh, and Scooty's right side getting up a little bit high. Gets a nice long bar for the Tetris. And, well, both boards were looking very nervy for a moment. Now both are in great shape and both are ready for the long bars. Tetris for Lark gonna pass 200,000. And a Tetris for Scooty, he's gonna pass 400,000. That's right, who is this commentator? Bring back Sharky. No, but Sharky's just absolutely excellent commentator. And all love to him. He is absolutely fantastic. Really in-depth analysis throughout any restream you're going to get. As Lark now in another situation, needs to dig this down. 
So Blue Scooty is going to go out to an even bigger lead here. And the pieces... Lark is just so dependent at the moment. Alright, set up for the left Well, Tetris. Can Lark get the long bar? Yes, he can! Tetris for Lark, just short of 300,000. As Scooty, 543,000 points. This lead with that Tetris now passing 250,000 points. And to make things worse, Scooty's got a Lion's advantage here. Behind in Lions from Lark. Everything is on his side at the moment for Blue Scooty. As Lark transitions here at 313. Scooty, still two more Tetrises available. We'll get the first, but might look to just burn into transition here. And we'll do just that. Transitions at 636,000 points. A massive transition here in game number two. But let's see where post will take us. Lark has got a turn on the gas here. Because Scooty, with an over 300,000 point lead at transition, this is no easy task for Lark whatsoever. Alright, a couple misdrops for Lark. Board starting to get a bit uncomfortable here. Gets a couple of good pieces, but this board really not in the position that he needs it to be in. As this lead still just short of 300,000 points. Such a big lead here for Blue Scooty. Oh, and Lark's board's breaking down. Needs to get some good pieces because time, well it is still level 22, but time is running out. If you're trying to catch a 300k deficit, this, you really don't have a lot of time. And another Tetris for Blue Scooty. He's going to go out to just short of 800k and, well, Lark realizes he's going to turn on the gas. Center world Tetris for Lark. But a 350k difference in score. Though Scooty getting up a little bit high here. The beautiful burns, and no problems for Scooty, looking for a long bar. And maybe there are some problems for Scooty, getting up very high long bar over for the Tetris. And now Lark, double long bar dependencies. Gonna get the first, but will he get the second? Yes he does. Both players into level 26 here, and well... A 310,000 k, a 310,000 point difference between the two players, and this score is just inevitable at this point. Lark, piece is not falling as he needs. We'll get a long bar over for the Tetris, but that will be all she wrote. Lark gonna top out at 582,000 points, and Blue Scooty with the Tetris going to 955,000 is good for game number two. Alright, Scooty, just one Tetris away from the max out. Will we get to see our first max out of the night? Time running out before kill screen. Need to bring this down and set up for the Tetris. Where is the long bar? Won't get over, unfortunately. Either way, a massive game from Blue Scooty. And is now at match point. So will we see Blue Scooty close out the match here in game number three? Or will we see Lark try to begin his conquest for a reverse sweep?
All right, we've got it ready from both players. Let's count it down here for game number three. In three, two, one, Tetris. So we are underway here for game number three. Can Lark keep this set alive? Or will Blue Scooty close things out? All right, a couple complications for Scooty early. Also oh, not Scooty, pardon me, for Lark, in fact. Scooty with a nice clean board and is gonna get a couple early Tetrises. Lark. Oh! <laughs> pulls back the long by just in time for the Tetris, but still some more burning to be done. So we've seen throughout this set, Lark not quite had the cleanest of starts in any of his games. But this game is looking like, it's going to be a pretty quick cleanup for Lark. Though, he wants to go for this left well Tetris. Why look to set up for column 2 and he will do just that. Set up for the Tetris and there it is, Tetris for Lark. Alright, both players clean to an extent. Lark, beautiful pieces, and he's going to get another Tetris in there, and is going to just transfer this well back to the right side. Both players. Oh my goodness. Scooter getting up high. Both players in scoring positions, or at least they were, but now Scooty getting up a little bit high. A couple of good burns, and just waiting on a long bar. Unfortunately, has to cover the well. But some good burns once again. And there it is, the long bar for the Tetris. Beautiful dirty Tetris from Blue Scooty. And both players... Clean. Had to make sure I said... Had to make sure they were before I said that because... Somehow, every time I've managed to uh, try to say that, one player has ended up in some sort of situation. But this time, they're both clean. And, oh, Lark, an early shift on the T. So, a bit more burning to be done. And this will allow Scooty to go up and build up a bit more of a lead. Already passed 100,000 points again here in game number 3. And is just going to look to grow even further. Lark with some good pieces to bring it down the stack. And he's going to reopen the world there. Tetris for Blue Scooty. Oh my goodness. What was that? A 7 high center well. Unfortunately, double flips the long bar. So I won't be able to score with that and... Lark for the long bar there, will score a Tetris. Oh my goodness. 12am restreams are whack. Alright. Scooty looking for a T piece here to spin into the gap. So not quite the cleanest of boards and this will allow Lark to try and get back into the game here. Scooty is set up for a center well, but the board, not quite the cleanest, so a bit of management to be done, and this really is an opportunity for Scooty to get, from Lark, pardon me, to get back into the game. The both players are getting droughted, and Scooty's going to get a long bar for the Tetris. Lark's long bar, nowhere to be seen, finally, we'll get a long bar for the Tetris. As both players pass in the 100 line mark. And it is Scooty still with a 100,000 point lead.
All right, Lark needs a long buff for that left side. We'll burn with the J. But transition is starting to loom closer for both players as neither are in a clean position. Looking to bring it down the stack. Blue Scooty, his well is open. Lark trying to open up his as well. Both players looking for a long bar. And there it is, long bar for both players. Neither actually going to be able to score a Tetris with them. But will certainly help out the stack as Scooty now back in a position. Really needs to bring this stack down. Transition approaching as Lark. He's going to transition at 377. And here we go, Scooty transitions at 462. But he's so high up here. Gets a nice long bar to the left hand side. Beautiful rolling. And the pieces are wonderful for Blue Scooty. He's going to reopen the well and a long bar for the triple. Beautiful. Oh my goodness. A beautiful down stack from Blue Scooty. And Lark now with the mist drop of the T piece is just running into more and more complications. The lead for a moment was under 100,000 points. Probably the smallest we've seen throughout the entire game, but now Scooty on a center well is just scoring at such a rapid rate. And this lead is gonna grow very quickly for Scooty. All right, both players, a little bit of management of their boards required. And Scooty, he's just going to clean things up. Lark with a beautiful center wall Tetris. Really needed that long bar and got it at the perfect time. Alright, so clean up for both players. Lark's actually set up here for the column 8. Can he get the long bar? That's the question though. Covers the world. Can he get something left? And he can't, unfortunately. Well, actually, he got the J over, but the pieces weren't there afterwards. Lark tops out at 454,000 points, which means Blue Scooty is good for the game and the match. So GG's to Scooty, played an excellent set and unfortunately it wasn't quite to be. Scooty gonna try mulling this out, although it will be done there at level 26. Which means Blue Scooty will advance to game number 2, sorry not game number 2, round number 2, pardon me. So let's go ahead and get set up, we're gonna run another quick ad break and we'll be back shortly with the round 2 match. Oh yeah, um, Messex, I'm gonna ask you right now, could you actually run an ad break on your stream before we tra change back over? Just so we don't get um, any ads during the game. Thank you.
Alright, so Messex is going to be doing a little bit of warm up before we get underway here in the final match of the stream. Both players successful in their round one matches. Messex and Blue Scooty beating Malaya and Lark respectively. And now these two are going to dish it out for the last semi-final spot for hopefuls for January. Alrighty, so I think we've got both plays here. So once we get ready from both plays, we can get underway here for the final match of the night. Alrighty, we got a ready from Messex. We just need a ready from from Blue Scooty, and we can underway for the final match of the night. Alright, we got a ready from Blue Scooty, so let's rock and roll. Game number one coming your way in three. Uh, in, in in three, two, one, Tetris. The bot taking its time, but either way, we, we are underway. Up, oh. Messex with a quick reset on the game. Um, is there a ruling on that? Because I don't know if this should be a redo or not. Like, realistically, it doesn't affect the game that much at all, but... Are we supposed to do a redo? Um, you know what? I think this should be okay. And if any problems happen, our lovely Dan Vinky will uh, do some editing magic in post. So Blue Scooty up a little bit high here. Gets a nice J piece to burn things down. And now set up for the row 3 Tetris. Boom! Tetris for Blue Scooty. Is that trademarked? I think I think it's fine. I think I can say boom. Alright, Messex getting up very high. That left side built out. Oh yeah, very high. What is this? 12 a.m. commentating. This is not it. So both players working not on the bottom of their boards, but the difference is that Messex is set up for the Tetris while Scooty just looking to burn things down. Tetris for Messex, they're gonna go up to they're gonna go up to 171,000 points. As Scooty still looking to burn things down, just down stacking with the pieces that he's getting, he's going to go to 95,000 points. Alright, a <laughs> very high center will Tetris for Messix, and he actually, he's going to set up for another one. 
Oh my goodness, Messex, what are you doing? Up so high and gets a J piece for the gap, gets a long bar to the left, gets a long bar over to the right, and oh my goodness, Messex is gonna score the Tetris. Insane aggression from Messex, and it's gonna pay off. Now needing a long bar on the left side. Almost set up for another Tetris, but surely they'll take the safe play, and yes, they do. Messex gonna get a triple with the long bar, but is the safer option as Blue Scooty has bring, brought this board back down to the bottom and is in a position to start scoring Tetrises now once again. Messex waiting for the long bar now, up so high. Oh, and this long bar not showing up. RNG not being favorable at all to Messex. And he's gonna set up, oh my goodness. Insane stacking from Messex. A slight J missed drop, but should be able to reopen the well. Messex getting absolutely battered by RNG here. Beautifully timed long buff of a triple. Can they get another long buff? Yes, they can. Finally gets that dirty Tetris to bring the stack down. So Messex passing the 100 line mark is going to go to 312,000 points, make it 335. As Blue Scooty with a bit of burning to be done, he's at 255. Alright, Blue Scooty up so high at the moment, gets a nice long bar, but while well, yes, the transition is 20 lines away, <laughs> needs to bring this sack down and we'll do beautifully there with the beautiful Dirty Tetris. And now Messex about a transition, they're just four lines away, gonna look to get set up for a perfect well transfer maybe. And there it is, Tetris from SX, they're going to transition at 4.35. And now Blue Scooty still has three more Tetrises available. There's the first. There's the second. Scooty one line away from transition here. And he's going to get the third. Tetris for Blue Scooty going to transition at 4.11. Has a slight misdrop into 19, but should be able to reopen the well. Though a couple misdrops, including a long bar flat, and now some double flips for Blue Scooty, and I don't know if he's going to be able to bring this down. Even for a roller, things are way too high, and Blue Scooty's going to top out at 414,000 points, which means MSX is good for game number one. So GG's to both players transition in the first game, that's what we'd like to see. Now we've got an ad. Oh. Um, let's go over to Scooty's stream while we wait for this ad to go away. Hello Blue Scooty. Alright, we can transition back. Okay. Oh, what? The ads are back? What? Okay. Alright. Alright, so... 
whoever's ruling on this so what happened is Messex started early because it was gonna go off the bot countdown and the bot was delayed so had to reset I think it should be okay Oh, and um, by the way, T-Storm, I can do the predictions. I can do it, it's okay. Alright, Scooty playing with Dazzle on 29. Wait, can I just do this? Oh, no, I can't do that. Can I just do... That. Look at this quality Tetris content. Alright, by the way, MassX, you're back. Just so you know. Um. Am I supposed to be showing this? I don't know if I'm supposed to be showing this. I'm not sure if I just jump back to the bracket scene or not. Um, okay. Both players are on the, on the stream. We got a ready from SX, just needing one from Blue Scooty. And we can get underway for game number two. All right, let's count it down for game number two. In three, two, one, Tetris. Alright, both players underway here in game number two. And both with nice clean boards. Messex is working off this double well to keep things nice and clean for the Lomba that finally shows up. And both players have two Tetrises on the board. Alright, I just realized we've not been talking about enough random stuff to be a classic, memorable CTM stream. So, um, what's that to talk about? We could always talk about the game, you know, but like, that's kind of boring. Both players are playing so good right now. There's nothing to really commentate about. Like, I mean, most of the games tonight we've seen a lot of dig situations. But in this game, both players are just playing so good. Alright, Massex getting up a little bit high here. Needs to find some good burns. Lovely sequence there. The overtaps the S piece. And it's a little bit more work to do. Gets the long bar to the left hand side. And it's gonna bring this board down. Beautiful burning from MassX. And it's just a few lines away from reopening the well. Alright, in the meantime, Scooty has been scoring really efficiently. Unfortunately, as I say that, a slight double flip, but has built up a 100,000 point lead here. 
over Masex. But now that Masex is clean, Blue Scooty's got a bit of burning to do. And this could be an opportunity for Masex to try and dig into that lead. Scooty's got a lot of burning to do. Alright, Scooty is set up for a center world Tetris. Oh, misses the JP to the left. This could be fatal for Scooty if he can't get anything over. Alright, gets a couple good burns. Needs a long bar. Shows up one piece too late. Now Scooty... Oh, he's gonna hang the long bar on column two and that will do it for blue Scooty. Which means, Master X, you are in a chase down. You need to get to 298. So Messex in the chase down needs to get to 298,000 points. A really unfortunate hang there for Blue Scooty. Looked so good up until that miss drop. And then unfortunately the board just spiraling out of control. Tetris for Messex. And that will do it. Messex is good for game number two. And is now on match point. So, now Messex a match point here. Can they close it out or will Blue Scooty bring things back? We've got it ready from both players. Let's count it down for the third game. In three, two, one, Tetris. So here we go, both players on the way here for game number three. Will Messex be able to close out the sweep? Or will Blue Scooty try and begin a reverse sweep? As we see a lovely long bar spin, or the line spin, as it is called, by Messex. And now Scooty, we saw a little bit of tapping, interestingly enough, as Messex up very, very high, needs good pieces, needs a long bar right now. Alright, it's going to burn with the L, going to burn with the S, this is so high up for Messex, and Messex is not even rolling, actually, Messex is tapping. Gets a bar left. Oh my goodness, Messex is going to reopen the well. Beautiful burns for Messex. And there's a long bar for the Tetris. Messex is going to survive. Board's in a nice clean shape. And is now in scoring position once again. Oh my word, Messex. Alright, um, that is a clip. Right there. You post that in, um, what, what, what's the channel? CTM Highlights? That's, I think that's, I think that's the channel. We use. Where you can also catch awesome CTM moments. If you want to use command discord in the chat. You can go ahead and join the CTM Discord, where all the action happens, really. I mean, the action happens on Twitch, but if you're looking for more of a community-based thing, head on over to the Discord. Oh, what's the Bears server? Extreme sports with the Berenstain Bears. 
that is another one of... Oh, it's not a Tetris server, technically. But it is another NES game that you also can compete in. And... Yeah, CTM has a close relationship with the Bears server. As what's also close is Blue Scooty at the moment getting up very high on the board. Needs to bring things down. We've already seen an amazing dig from Messex this game. Can Blue Scooty replicate just the same? Gets the pieces over to the left hand side. Be oh, double flips the S yes piece! This could be fatal for Blue Scooty. Needs a long bar. Gets the long bar over to the right hand side. There's no way. Blue Scooty finds some burns. Can Scooty survive this? Oh, the piece is not going to get anything left, and that's going to be it. Blue Scooty tops out at 300,000 points. And Messex will take the third game. Really unfortunate there for Blue Scooty. For a second, had all of our hearts racing. Couple better pieces, and that could have been.